There is an official sequel to Django Unchained that was a comic. So this is official. This is part of the canon. Uh, came out in 2015. The Django Zorro comic. Okay. Zorro's name is Don Diego de la Vega. Ooh. And so it makes sense that Tarantino probably has Vic and Vincent, who are brothers, descendant from Zorro. That's cool. And that, I mean, you wouldn't have thought that was a coincidence. No, of course not. No. <laughs> Interestingly Vic enough. Vic and Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Don de Esta la biblioteca. <laughs> um, I, I also think an interesting one to add is that Vic was supposed to be Pulp Fiction lead. I did not know that. Yeah, so right, Michael okay. Madsen was originally. Oh, I'm glad that. I'm glad it happened the way it did. What do you reckon? Yeah, big time. Yeah. John Travolta was incredible. He, the dance scene. I can't see. I can't see him pulling off. I think. The dance scene I like. think uh, it's an interesting what if that I was considering because Tarantino would have probably found a way to get John Travolta in something because he was yeah. such a massive fan. Yeah. But it wouldn't have been then, or if it was in Pulp Fiction, it would have. He might have changed Pulp Fiction up a bit. And then who would have played Mr. Blonde? Who would have played Toothpick Vic? He was already so he, Michael Madsen was going to play both. He, he played Mr. Blonde, yeah. yes. And then originally Pulp Fiction was like a sequel with uh, Michael Madsen in it. As same character. As Mr. Blonde, right. Yeah, okay. so it was, right. it was originally right. the same right. character. It was yeah, built okay. around him, uh, obviously set before he died. Uh, and then he couldn't do it because he had another film which didn't do very well, which I, unfortunately I can't remember the name of. Someone may be able to correct me. Um and yeah, he basically said, sorry, mate, I can't do it. I've, I've tried to do this film, which I think is going to be a big hit. I'd love to. And then he ended up saying it was like one of the biggest regrets of his life because that film didn't do very yeah, well. Okay. Now, why this was also an interesting what if is because Michael Madsen, who I think I, I certainly feel is incredible in Reservoir Dogs, yeah, yeah. maybe missed a chance to be a bit of a, a big time Hollywood star yeah, from not being in Pulp Fiction. Michael Madsen basically missed a chance okay. to be massive because of it. Similarly, Samuel L. Jackson wasn't massive, but um, what's his face? Lawrence Fishburne. There you go. Yes. He was who Tarantino was trying to cast for, for Samuel L. Jackson's character, uh, Jules. But yeah, he basically, his first choice was Lawrence Fishburne. Right. And Lawrence Fishburne said, I can't do this. His agent said, don't do it because... We want to start putting you. We need you to be prepared for leading man roles. Oh, man. That's wow. a, that's yeah. very interesting. Yeah, uh, bring it One back round to the Gold. Vic and Vincent. Mm -hmm. Do you know they were going to do a, a a film? I think I heard that. Yeah, so Didn't they were going to do a ground. film with the two of them. Uh, was that going to be after Pulp Fiction? It was going to be after Pulp Fiction, mm. uh, and then Tarantino decided not to do it because the actors got too old for the roles. Right. So he he he'd obviously. I mean, you know what he's like. He he obviously had a vision. Yeah. I think I heard it was a prequel thing. Well, it, well, it would have had back in Amsterdam, maybe. It would have had to be because, because they both die. Right. So it will have had to have been. And then the reason that it didn't go ahead specifically Spoilers. was because. <laughs> we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> was because the uh, because the actors got too old. Interesting, because yeah. Uh, do you know when it was that he no. wanted? Yeah. Well, I don't. But that would have been really cool. I love a bit of lore. I love a bit of a little bit. Of universe it would have building. been cool, but in all honesty, I usually prefer the idea of these things and the execution. I kind of, <laughs> yeah. I kind of yeah. like that it didn't happen. I really like both Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction as yeah. is. I love that they both got their moments in those films. Yes, and uh, I don't think we need to bring wheel them out for a for a buddy cop film <laughs> or some sort. Well, yeah, buddy gangster romp in Amsterdam. Tarantino would have killed it.